at uh, let's get uh, mr vinayak chatterji now for in on this discussion uh, vinayak hi morning really good to have you on the show uh, let's uh, let's start uh, by talking about the power sector because you know uh, uh, of late while we've seen some of the stocks do well but quite clearly the, the investment is still lacking uh, by when do you see any kind of turn around in this particular space look uh, as you rightly said the uh, the power sector is showing signs of a turnaround uh, for the and even uh, most analysts covering this sector are uh, using the phrase that the worst is behind us uh, and there are good reasons for that one is i think uh, the there are few things that have happened simultaneously one is that there is a revival in the power plants new plants business which means orders for construction and capital goods there are two umpps uh, you, for which you know uh, you know the the bids are out another two are planned uh, there are states uh, like rajasthan like madhya pradesh like tamil nadu that are putting out state bids for new power plants uh, so that so there is a certain uh, eager anticipation from the capital goods sector that the orders from all of these will soon start Uh, impacting their order books positively that's point 1 point 2 is that many of the discoms out of uh, india's uh, india has 54 discoms out of that the leading ones have all they are all doing two things one they have significantly increased tariffs there are major steps at the local level to uh, take a hard uh, hard decisions on transmission and distribution losses uh, and Uh, the uh, the other issue is that on the even on their restructuring financial restructuring uh, the many of the frontline states have actually succeeded in 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 placing their state government guaranteed bonds for the uh, discom bailout what is called the frp uh, package the uh, in terms with the banks and are getting their financials in order uh, which means that the discoms will Uh, soon be in a position to buy far more power than they have demonstrated in the last few months because of their own cash flow and liquidity problems mm-hmm. and finally uh, the government's view on allowing coal as a pass through for older projects and co- and consistently revising the bids that are coming out now that university makes fuel uh, as a pass through uh, including arrangements for imports and hopefully resetting Uh, the power tariffs of tata power bundra etc all these positive messages have come from government mm. and finally we are seeing uh, green shoots of uh, the solution to the gas problem where the power ministry has floated a cabinet note for discussions on gas pooling of both imported and domestic gas uh, even transmission if you, if you see power grid and other people's performance on transmission there is a huge activity that has happened in terms of linking up various transmission grids and the big one that we are expecting now is the linkage of the southern grid around july 2014 now when you add up all of this uh, you will find that they all add up to increasing a positive mood in the power sector but let me stop here and and and, and get you to respond and comment <laughs> Okay, Vinayak. Hi, thanks for joining in. Uh, the point you made is actually quite concurrent with what BHEL, as the management said yesterday as well. Despite the first half being so dismal, they have guided for a second half, which will be better in terms of order inflows. So, would that be what we could expect? And if, in case that is what will come through in the second half, will margins be affected because of extreme amount of uh, maybe bidding uh, between private and public uh, uh, companies? Companies for the selective number of orders that could come through. Actually, both your points are correct. Uh, the fact that most capital goods manufacturers are looking forward, along with BHL, to a revival of the order book thanks to the spate of new uh, plants likely to come through is certainly in the air. Uh, the uh, remember BHL's financial performance that is being widely commented in the press today. Hmm. Uh, I have tracked this sector over many years and come to the conclusion. that it takes about 2 years for a downturn to hit the profit and loss account of these companies because of the momentum of carry over orders it is now after 2 years after the slowdown that the carry carry momentum of carry forward orders has actually come down hmm. and therefore you can't book revenue on that account anymore and you're looking for fresh orders now remember bhl is not uh, any more uh, in its envious position of being virtually of being virtually uh, 
a, a, a sole supplier to the capital goods in, in the power sector because over the years, significant high quality capacity has come in, whether it is uh, LNT Mitsubishi or, or, or BGR Hitachi or uh, you know Bharat Forge uh, with its joint venture partner and many others uh, who are in the market to supply capital goods and all of them universally have fairly uh, have order books which are stressed. Mm. So when these paid of orders come in, you're right in your observation that margins are likely to be wafer thin. And uh, we will once again have to wait for a further, uh, you know, a larger pipeline of orders to come uh, once most people's order books are once again back to normal levels. But in the present, yes, it will be a it will be a dog eat dog fight, and margins are going to be wafer thin. But then people are right now concerned about getting their cash flows and their factories and their shop flows back humming again. That is that is that is really the expectation.